And we're back. Recording the transaction on page 455 for the transaction register. So we got to the 27 transaction where we went to Village Restaurant and used the ATM. So I was trying to pay it with the checks. And of course, it's not a check, so I couldn't do that. So you go to your expenses and click on the expenses. And under new transaction, just choose expense rather than check. And now who did you pay? Again, we paid the village restaurant. Payment date is going to be 27. Now here the payment method it's going to be ATM. Now notice that if I was paying by check, I could also use this same feature to pay by check as well. But we're paying by ATM. This one does not have a reference number. The amount that we paid was $55.22. And okay. So I'm gonna just do a save and new and stay in this section. Our next payment, who did we pay? We paid Vince Bartle. That date was 2-7. Now this time we did pay by check, okay? And the check number, you know what? I want to go back to my checking just to make sure that I can put a check number here. But I like it better going through the actual checks. I'm going to clear this transaction and cancel out of here. And now I'm going to go to new transaction. I'm going to go ahead and click on check. Not saying we can do it through the expenses, but I like it cleaner with the check just to make sure that the check numbers line up as they should. So now I'm going to pay Vince Bartel again. Well, not again, but pay Vince Bartel. The date is 2 7. So here the check number is 1091. That's the correct check. The amount is 150 already for the repair and maintenance costs. So I'll click on save and new. Next will be our deliveries as our payee. The date is 27, check number 1092, and that amount is going to be for $95.97. So I'll click on Saving New. So for the last transaction, we're going to pay back the loan payable. We borrowed money in, a, in Chapter 3. That was a long time ago. Now we're paying that back along with interest. So we're going to add in a new payee. We're going to be First Trust Bank. So I'm going to click on my Add New for the payee. And the new payee is going to be First Trust Bank. Let's spell it correctly. First Trust Bank. Let's make the bank look appropriate. There we go. First Truck Bank will be our new vendor. So I'm going to click on the Save button. Check number 1093. For the category, choose your loan payable account because you're paying back the actual loan. Account 205. The amount paid is going to be $5,000. And we're going to pay the interest on the loan. That's going to be interest expense. 
which I don't seem to have. It didn't come up. So let's go ahead and add new. It should be coming up shortly. The account type, of course, would be an expense account. Detail type. Let's see if we see interest. There it is, interest paid. And then the account is going to be interest expense. And they did not give us an account number just yet. I'm not sure what the account number is going to be. So we click on save and close. And the amount of interest paid was $150. Okay. And let's click on save and close to complete all of those payment transactions. They did give us a check figure for our chart of account. So let's make sure we're showing that same dollar amount. So I go to my chart of accounts. My checking balance should equal $46,991.50. Good deal. Okay. So now I'm going to enter a bill on page 456, a sales invoice in a bill. So once again, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. I'm going to do the two bills first and then come back and do the actual sales invoice. So expenses, let's go right to bills. Again, we're on page 456. We're going to add a bill. Create a bill. So our vendor will be Cloud's channel. The date is 27. The bill number is CZ403. The category would be the web server. As we get the right line, so the web server is on your product and service. The quantity is going to be five. So total bill amount should be $1,000. I'm going to click on save and new. I'm going to skip page 457 for right now and go to page 458 to enter the next bill. The vendor would be the Ample Store. The date is going to be 2-9. The bill number is AS401. That's your bill number. We are doing data storage. The quantity is going to be 20 for the data storage. Total invoice of bill amount should be $300. So now I'll do a save and close and go back to page 457 to put in my sales invoice. So I'll click on plus new, go to invoice. Again, we're on page 457. The customer would be eBiz. Terms are net 30, invoice number is 1049, invoice date is going to be 27. So I'll change that invoice date to 27. And now we sold the data storage. Quantity was six. Total invoice amount should equal $180. We're going to pay some bills next. So now I'm going to click on save and close and go back to my bill screen. And we're now on page 459. Again, we're now on page 459. 
my bill screen is already up so I'm gonna go again to my expenses and click on new transaction and choose check since we're gonna pay all of these vendors by check first we're gonna pay the Apple store We're going to pay bill AS352 for the 180. So that should be check. All right. And check number should be 1094. That's good. So I'm going to click on save and new. For our next payment on page 460. We have any time deployment. Again, the date is going to be 215. We're going to pay the bill ATD 510 for 500, which is here. That bill has now been added, so I'll click on save and new. For our next vendor, it's going to be Clouds Channel. Date would be 215. We're going to pay the invoice CZ333 for the $800, which is here. That invoice has been selected. So once again, we'll click on Save and New. And our next bill will be for the conference call company. So we'll choose conference call. Date 215. Choose invoice 24CCC for the 270. And now we're going to click on save and close. So those are all the payments we just made for those vendors. We're going to add a few more bills and then a bunch of sales invoices. And then we'll be almost done with this chapter. Okay. So we're on page 461 and we're going to add another bill. So my expense tab's already here. So I'll just click on my bills tab, add a bill. Always adding bills, aren't we? Let's create a new bill. Give me page 461. The vendor is going to be conference call as your vendor. The date is going to be 218. And we're going to order three of the webinars. That should be three. Total bill amount should be $135. I forgot to put in my bill number. That's important. That bill number is 275CC. So I'm going to click on, let me see. I'm going to click on Save and New. And I'm going to go over to page 464 to enter my next bill for the Apple Store. And then we'll come back and conclude our discussion and do a few more sales transaction. So the date is going to be 220. Bill number AS423. Data storage quantity is going to be 12. Total bill amount should be $183. Make sure I put in my bill number. So now I'll click on save and close. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and record a few of these sales transactions. And then we'll come back and close out our chapter nine discussion lecture. Okay. Bye-bye.